In this lesson, we're going to continue working on our process command. The first thing I want to do is I want to hash out the steps necessary for us to complete the command. So first of all, we're going to need to fetch all the posts. Now this means we're going to go into a designated directory and grab all of the files in there that we're going to process. Then we're going to have to process each one. So we're going to process each file. And finally, we're going to have to persist this to the database. So these are the steps that we're going to have to do to be able to get our process command doing what we need it to do. Let's start with fetching all the posts. We can use the file facade to help us with this task. So files equals file, and that's the file facade, illuminate, support, facades, file, files. And the directory that we're looking for, we're going to say is blogs. At this point, blogs directory does not exist yet in our project, so we're going to have to create that right now. Let's go back to the terminal. Inside my dummy Laravel project, I will run the command mkdir make directory blogs. And then inside blogs, I'm going to make a new sample post. This sample post, I could write it from scratch. I'm just going to copy it from my tests. Blogs, mark file one. I'm just going to copy that and bring it back over. Paste. And then we're going to save. So now let's die and dump files and see what we have. PHP artisan press process. And sure enough, we have our sample post dot markdown. Okay, that step is complete. Let's process each file. For each files as file, so we know that each file is basically a post. So let's save that to a variable. And we know that we have our press file parser class. So let's new that up now, press file parser. And to the constructor of press file parser class, it needs the path to each file. And we can get that by simply calling file get path name, the function. Now to the result of all of that, I'm gonna call get data. Because remember, get data is what actually fetches the array of all of the clean data. At this point, let's go ahead and die and dump post just so we see what we have. And back in the terminal, we'll run PHP artisan press process again. And there it is. We have our nice clean array. So, so far, so good. Let's get rid of this. Let's clean up. So now let's persist it to the database. As we've done in the past, we're going to do a very simple implementation just to get it working. And through the next couple of lessons, we're going to refactor this into a really nice package. So what's the easiest way for us to persist this to the database? Let's just create a record inside our post model. And that's simply done by calling post, our model, and we're going to call the create method on it. And to the create method, we're going to pass an array. Now this array is going to help us match up all of the different things that are being passed in through our clean array and save each field to the proper field inside our database. So let me fill this up right now. And there you have it. These are the fields that we have in our database and we've matched them up to different fields that we know will be available either in the array or we're going to trick them just for now. Starting with this identifier field. Later down the road, we're going to use this to make sure that if a post gets updated, we don't add it to the database again, but rather we update an existing record. For now, we haven't taken care of this just yet, so I will just generate a random string just for now. For slug, we also haven't taken care of it, so I'm just going to string slug the post title. Now, this is a nice, helpful Laravel function called str underscore slug that will simply remove all of the white space and convert them to dashes and make everything lowercase. It works great. Then we'll pass in our title, we'll pass in our body, and finally our extra. Now in case it did not pass any extra fields, I'm going to default to an empty array. My editor is complaining about this coalescent operator because it is a PHP 7 only and I haven't set that up in this configuration properly. So with all of that, we actually have a working process command. We can get rid of these comments now and we can go ahead and test it. And now because we have not set up any database in our test dummy project, we do get an error. However, I want to show you that it is working. Let's take a look at the SQL that was generated. So it's going to insert into posts. Perfect. 
is going to try to insert all of these fields. And here we see our values. We have this, we have my title, we have my title as a proper string, and then we have our converted body. Perfect. Now we see for our extra field, we see that nothing was passed in, and we have our updated at and created at timestamps. So even though it didn't quite run 100% because I don't have a test database set up for this dummy project, we can clearly see that it is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So in the lessons to follow, we're going to start to tackle each one of these and refactor all of it into a very advanced implementation of this command. Stick around.